On the 1st of December, we're bringing the Mexico Civilization to Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Born in fiery insurgency against Spanish colonial rule, the young Mexican nation asserted itself against numerous revolutions and invasions. The Mexico Civilization shares some similarities with the United States Civilization, but boasts a slew of new units, buildings, and alternative features, making the Mexico Civilization distinctly different, creating their own individual feel and playstyle. Like the United States, Mexico advances through the ages by choosing federal states. Each unique Mexican state offers two new federal cards to add to your deck, such as the ability to deploy free field hospitals or additional ways to train settlers. With 40 new federal cards to choose from, Mexico can keep opponents on their toes, adapting as the match progresses. An entirely new feature Mexico brings to Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition is their access to different revolutions in each age, starting from even the Commerce Age. Like other revolutions, each has a unique civilization bonus and deck, creating powerful but limited options. During a revolution, Mexico can still access their federal cards, and even has the option to reverse their revolution and return to Mexico, and get their original deck back whilst retaining the benefits of any cards they sent during the revolution, with the option to then revolt again later. Along with the Padre, a unique priest hero, Mexico has access to the General, who can plant an inspiring flag and construct forts upon reaching the Fortress Age. Instead of mills, estates, and livestock pens, the Mexico Civilization constructs the Hacienda, which can be toggled to produce food, coin, or cows automatically, and assigning settlers to the Hacienda will increase its production rate. Similar to a town center, Haciendas can be the center of an economy, as it's able to garrison settlers, protecting them from raiders, and can be upgraded in numerous ways, depending on which federal cards you choose, such as gaining a defensive ranged attack, producing military units, or even spawning more settlers. The cathedral is the centerpiece to any Mexican city, an impressive and expensive building, housing free technologies that improve as the game progresses, such as Day of the Dead, which grants experience for every unit lost so far, or Visit of the Seven Houses, which ships an additional soldier for each building you have constructed. Though these technologies are free, they require precise timing and strategy for maximum effect. The Soldado is a costly, but devastating heavy infantry, armed with grenades to demolish buildings and a musket for general purpose combat. The Soldado can be further enhanced with the refurbished firearms card, enabling them to rain explosives from a grenade launcher at long distance, before switching to their musket as enemy forces advance. Available as early as the Commerce Age, the Saltador is a skirmisher and talented pathfinder, able to see units of damage through the fog of war, perfect for revealing unexpected surprises behind enemy lines. With access to the stealth ability, they are ideal for reconnaissance, setting up ambushes, and with the right cards, can even gain additional health while skirmishing near natural resources, such as trees or gold mines. The Insurgente is a furious rebel, armed with spears, machetes, plows, and other tools. Costing only food, they're fast to train, extremely mobile, and highly effective against cavalry units, perfect for manning the front lines. The Chinaco is a hand cavalryman, highly skilled in the use of a lance, that grants him additional attack range. This makes them perfect for countering light infantry and cavalry, or expertly chasing down routing units. Similar to the United States Civilization, Mexico has access to their own unique roster of outlaws. The Cuatrero, a light cavalry who can lasso units, lowering their movement speed for a short period. The Bandido, who hurls dynamite, obliterating anything caught in its wake and the Desperado, with the shootout ability, quickly firing two pistols simultaneously. With unique units, features, and even a new revolution system, we're excited to see the Mexico Civilization become a part of Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, bringing with it a new range of strategies and tactics to explore. The Mexico Civilization will be available on December 1st, and is available for pre-order right now. <laughs>